Here is the Avast Security News Roundup for the week ending June 10th, 2022. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and get involved. Be on alert for Caracourt and a joint cybersecurity advisory by the FBI the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, the Department of Treasury, and the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, the four U.S. agencies warned businesses about the tactics, techniques, and procedures of the Caracourt Data Extortion Group. Unlike ransomware groups, Caracourt does not encrypt data. It simply steals it. The group then threatens the victimized businesses with auctioning the sensitive data if the company does not pay the extortion fee. The alert says the fee typically ranges between 25000 and $13 million in Bitcoin. This is an interesting plot twist, commented a vast security evangelist, Louis Carones. Ransomware gangs started stealing data and using extortion to enforce payment when victims refused to pay as they had their own backups. Now the group has figured out that they can skip the encryption process altogether. They do not have to invest in ransomware, providing keys, etc. It has yet to be seen if this business model will be more successful than the traditional ransomware one, where victims tend to lose access to all their data. Caracourt typically gives the business a week to pay, and it piles on the pressure by harassing the company's employees and clients with phone calls urging them to get the business to comply with their demands. For more... CZDNet. Europol takes down Flubot. Maybe. This week, Europol announced that an operation involving authorities from 11 countries has succeeded in disrupting the fast-spreading Android mobile malware known as Flubot. The botnet's aggressive attack tactics are due to its ability to access contacts on whatever device it infects, sending out phishing messages that continues its spread. Flubot has been known to steal passwords, online banking details, and other sensitive information. Dutch police say they managed to deactivate the malware strain, but the investigation is ongoing in Europol, as Europol tries to identify the criminals behind it. While Flubot may be down for now, history has shown that botnets are exceedingly difficult to eradicate completely. For more, see CyberScoop. Pre unofficial patch released for Windows Dog Walk Flaw. Because Microsoft has not deemed the Dog Walker flaw a security issue, the Opatch platform has taken it upon itself to release free patches for users. Dog Walk is a zero-day exploit that uses a path traversal flaw to copy an executable to the Windows startup folder. Then the next time the user starts Windows, the malicious executable is executed. In order for a user to become a victim, they must unwittingly click on a malicious Diag cab file. Microsoft says Outlook users are not at risk from this exploit because Diag cab files are automatically blocked. Some security researchers believe the bug is still a valid attack vector. So Opatch created free patches for any users. For more on this story, see Bleeping Computer. The next version of Apple CarPlay integrates deeper. At Apple Worldwide Developers Conference this week, the company teased some details about the next generation of the CarPlay platform. The Apple feature will allow iPhone users to control and view certain apps on their dashboard display. The next version of the feature will more deeply integrate with the car's hardware, allowing the user to adjust climate controls, seat heaters, radio stations, and more. It will also take over the car's instrument cluster, displaying the current speed, fuel, and battery levels, RPMs, navigation details, and other information 
all through Apple's own UI. To learn more, see Ars Technica. People Corp Cybercrime Group shifts to Lockbit Ransomware. Cybersecurity researchers believe the Russian-based cybercrime group Evil Corp may be reinventing themselves as a threat cluster known as UNC-2165, which uses Lockbit ransomware instead of Evil Corp's usual Hades ransomware. In an analysis on the issue, researchers noted these actors have shifted away from using exclusive ransomware variants to Lockbit, a well-known ransomware as a service in their operations, likely to hinder attribution efforts in order to evade sanctions. Some law enforcement agencies have imposed ransomware sanctions that bar victims from negotiating with their threat actors. For more on this story, see The Hacker News. A key database exposed job seekers to phishing attacks. A routine open source intelligence investigation led the team to a publicly accessible data set with information on 106,902 sales agents and 2,418 companies listed on an Italian website catering to sales agents and companies looking for them. Together with the IP addresses, the data set weighing in at a 1.5 gigabyte includes a multitude of data submitted to job agencies, such as CVs, names, emails, phone numbers, work history, and regions of Italy where agents reside. The people who have been exposed by this information will be susceptible to social engineering attacks, fraud, and other scams for a long time, and so will their companies. For more on this, see Cyber News. This week's must read on the Avast blog. How we interact with social media has profound effects on how we navigate the real world. That's why it's important to foresee and prevent digital burnout. Read the article at the link listed. That wraps up this week's Avast Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.